Hello friends. So in the previous video, we have uh, gone through the auto transformer method of stating and before that we went through the reactor method or the resistance method of static. In those two methods, we have seen that uh, in the reactor method, the starting current reduced by a factor of x and the starting torque reduced by a factor of x square. And in the auto transformer method, the starting current drawn uh, from the supply reduces by a factor of x square. And the starting torque also gets reduced by a factor of x square. Okay. And I told you that these are all additional investments that you have to make. Okay. And uh, these are a bit expensive. So now we will uh, do a method which is called star delta static. Okay. The only thing here is that you should have access to the need access to the winding terminals. Need access to the winding terminals. Winding terminals of the stator of the stator now in some motors in fact uh, the motors that i have seen you will find that uh, on the motor for example this is the motor you will have a box like this okay you will have a box like this so now let us just enlarge that box so it is the magnified version of that box and the motor is around here so you have terminals which look like this okay you have terminals which look like this that is u1 u2 v1 v2 w1 w2 now this is actually the winding terminals okay these are actually the winding terminals now you know that uh, what is a star connection a star connection is where similar ends are connected together so for example you are having a winding in star connection okay so this will be u1 this will be u2 and this will be v1 this will be v2 this will be w1 and this will be w2 so w2 u2 and v2 are connected together and what is the delta connection in a delta connection the different terminals of the windings are connected together for example this is u1 this is u2 so this will be v1 this will be v2 and this will be w1 and this is w2 so u1 w2 are connected u2 uh, v1 is connected and w1 v2 are connected. different ends of a winding are connected together so what you have is that sometimes you are having shorting rings here so what you do for example you want a star connection okay so if you want a star connection you short u1 v1 w1 and you apply your supply like this on r y b you are applying your supply and for example you want to have a delta connection you connect different windings okay you connect v1 to u2 w1 to uh, v2 and w2 to u1 and you give the supply so that is the access to the windings and you can easily connect using shorting rings okay in most cases the lettering is not how i have described the lettering is made in such a way so that you can just have the uh, the terminal in which u1 has to connect is directly coming below here so u1 for example is getting connected w2 so usually it is a w2 which comes here so that the shorting ring can be directly connected like this okay so this in case you are going to work in an industry in future if you have big motors you will see this thing here so what is this star delta connection now you know that in a star connection inherently there is a voltage drop right not voltage drop inherently the line voltage is different from the phase voltage right so for example this is the line voltage right this is vl between two lines and this is the phase voltage that is between two phases so this phase voltage you know that it is equal to vl divided by root 3 inherently naturally the phase voltage is vl divided by root 3 so what it means is that in an induction motor if you connect it in star during the starting condition the voltage across the windings will be vl divided by root 3 vl divided by root 3 in the other methods it was x into vx and x varies from 0 to 1 so the uh, reduction is voltage is by a factor of x but here the reduction of the voltage will be a factor of 1 by root 3 so it starts like that and once the motor gets into enough speed you switch the connection to delta in relay logic you can do it very easily that is uh, during starting the motor is connected in star and in the uh, running condition it is connected in delta that circuit uh, in case i get time in future i will explain but uh, that we will not see we will just see this perspective okay so what we are going to do basically the funda here is that during the starting condition during the starting condition the stator winding stator winding is connected in star okay and in the running condition the stator winding is connected in delta that is why i told you 
you need access to the winding okay so in the starting condition it looks something like this for example you are having a we we'll just keep a switch also here just for the sake of that so at the starting condition your stator is connected in star like this so this is the terminals okay at the starting condition the machine is connected in star so this is your vl rated line voltage okay and uh, you know that here in the machine phase in the machine phase this voltage will be now vl rated divided by root 3 vl rated divided by root 3 and this is the current through the machine il starting okay current through the machine is il starting so if you draw the equivalent circuit how it will look so this is your r1 now this is at starting all right i have already told you everything is during starting this phase phasor this uh, phase circuit diagram is also during starting condition so this is r1 jx1 r2 jx2 and at starting you know that this r2 into 1 by s minus 1 will be equal to 0 so therefore you will put it as a short circuit okay so what is the phase voltage which is applied to the machine the phase voltage which is applied to the machine is vl divided by root 3 right so this voltage will be vl rated divided by root 3 okay the phase voltage applied on to the machine is vl rated divided by root 3 and the current you see uh, this is the current i phase starting right through the machine but in the star connection the phase current is equal to the line current okay so whatever is phase i phase starting that will be same as i l starting also okay so we'll write them so i phase starting i phase starting for star delta i phase starting for star delta is nothing but uh, this voltage right so v l rated divided by root 3 divided by z s c just like in the previous video z s c is r1 plus r2 plus j into x1 plus x2 but in star connection i l is equal to i phase simple expression so i l starting will be equal to i phase starting and that is equal to uh, <coughs> v l rated divided by root 3 divided by z s c so this is the basic expression that we have derived for the star delta method of starting so i'll just put that star delta method of starting now in dol starting we have already seen what was the value so i l for the starting condition in dol what was that value it was root 3 v l rated root 3 into v l rated divided by z s c right this was the dol method if you have not seen that video go and watch it now so if you divide these two equations that is i l s t during start star delta that is i line during the starting condition for the star delta divided by i line for the starting condition for the dol type of method so it will be equal to these two you have to divide so v l rated divided by root 3 divided by z s c divided by this value divided by root 3 into v l rated divided by z s c okay so if you simplify this you will get a simple expression that is i l s t for star delta divided by i l s t for d o l will be equal to 1 by 3 so as a conclusion we can write i l s t for star delta will be equal to 1 by 3 times of i l s t at d o l so what it means is that as compared to the uh, line current or sorry line current during the starting condition for the DOL method the line current for the starting condition for star delta method is reduced by a factor of 1 by 3 okay so for example the uh, line current during the starting condition for DOL start starting is 80 amperes so for uh, the star delta method that same line current during the starting condition will be 80 divided by 3 okay so that is the basic thing here so the starting current starting current is reduced by a factor reduced by 1 by 3 reduced by 1 by 3 reduced by a factor of 3 so we will just write it as reduced by a factor of uh, 3 or reduced by a value of uh, 1 by 3 okay so again i am telling you if the 80 amperes was the for example we will just take a 90 amps. so 90 amperes is the current for dol starting okay that 90 current 90 ampere will become 90 by 3 for the star delta method of starting that is 90 by 3 is 
30 ampere so ilst is reduced so now we have seen the starting current now we have to see the torque okay torque at the starting condition okay so torque at the starting condition is pag divided by omega sinc i already told you so omega this value is equal to 3 into i phase at starting condition square into r2 divided by omega sinc okay so now we will write the torque starting condition for the star delta method so that is 3 into what is i phase at starting condition i phase at starting condition is this value vl rated divided by root 3 divided by zsc right so that is vl rated divided by root 3 divided by zsc so this is i phase starting for the star delta square into r2 divided by omega sinc divided by omega sinc we are just substituting the value of i phase starting here so this is one part and what was starting torque for dol start uh, dol type that was 3 into i phase for that value so that was vl rated divided by zsc whole square into r2 divided by omega sinc okay so what we have to do we have to divide these two equations now so if we divide these two equations so this will go this will go this will go this will go and these two terminals uh, these two not terminal these two factors will go this also will go so finally you are having 1 by root 3 whole square so torque starting during the star delta connection divided by torque starting during the dol connection will be equal to 1 by root 3 the whole square or it is equal to 1 by 3 that means the torque starting for the star delta connection divided by torque starting for the dol connection will be equal to 1 by 3 okay or i can write torque starting for the star delta connection is equal to 1 by 3 times the torque starting during for the dol connection okay that means as compared to the uh, dol starting torque the uh, torque starting during the star delta connection is 1/3 of that value okay so for example that was some uh, 30 newton meter means this is 10 newton meter okay so the starting torque starting torque is uh, re reduced reduced by 1 by 3 or 1/3 of its value okay so as compared to the dol starting method the starting torque Uh, for the star delta method is less by a factor of 1 by 3 okay so that is uh, these two methods so <clears throat> these have some advantages okay so one advantage is that you are not connecting any external resistance or reactance okay so any heat any heat additional heat produced by produced by additional components additional components is reduced or or is not existing is not present if you connect a reactance it will have some resistance so it will produce heat if you connect a resistance bank it will also produce resist uh, heat and all these things are uh, unwantedly heating up the machine and next is that as compared to the other methods the torque it has the highest torque per ampere highest torque per ampere of line current of line current simple mathematics so as compared to all the other methods the amount of torque that you are able to obtain in the starting condition is the highest per line current okay so these are the uh, major methods of starting methods of induction motor so the basic concept or the theory is over in the future we will do some numericals and uh, with this video we are concluding the starting methods of induction motor so what all we have seen we have seen why starting methods are to be used then we found out a basic expression then we discussed the uh, first what did we discuss we discussed dol starting then we discuss reactor or resistance starting so in reactor or resistance starting what happens the starting current reduced by factor of x and the starting torque reduced by a factor of x square in the auto transformer starting both the starting current and the starting torque reduces by a factor of x square okay and in the star delta method of starting both the starting current and the uh, torque at starting condition gets reduced by a factor of 1 by 3 okay so that is the method and we have seen starting methods is over so in the next video onwards we will start with speed control which is also a very important topic and in between we will do some numericals in all these topics okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel till i see you in the next video is me varun signing off and have a great day thank you now that the video is over please stay with me for 30 more seconds 
Now the vision of this channel is to create a repository of good quality videos with crystal clear explanation regarding various topics related to electrical engineering. Now if you want to help me spread the word, please share this video with anyone interested in these topics. The second thing is that for me education is a two-way process. Therefore, if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding any of the videos or regarding the channel, please put them in the comments below. We can have a healthy discussion and that way we can build a strong community of electrical engineers. So that's it for today's video. So till I see you in the next time, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.